And also, you should pick up your jacket today at the cleaners. Oh, that's right. I, I just want to have everything prepared so that we don't, at the last minute, forget something. I'll pick up the pants, too. I'm excited about this. This is, I'm very happy for Rachel. Well, you love, uh, you love weddings. I love weddings. I love Rachel, and I, and I really hope she finds happiness in this relationship. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Yeah, but look, she doesn't have to know that. Well, I'm not going to say anything. No. Especially not in the speech. Are you planning to make a toast? I think I will, yeah. But I think you're going to have to make a speech, too. Maybe we should go up together. Okay, let's try one. Okay. Hi, I'm, hey. I am uh, Dr. Jonathan Katz. Rachel is my niece, my son, Ben. Can I stop you right here, Dad? What's that? You don't have to be so formal in a speech. Let okay, it, okay. Be looser. Hey, I be... would like to pro propose a toast. Oh, man, you're drunk. Yeah, but so is everybody else. I think the wedding's going to be a lot of fun, Dad, you know? Yeah, I'm sure it will be. You know, it's going to be fun watching you uh, try and waltz with Rachel. You know, when they call you. Yeah, that's not going to happen because I'm, I'm going to... Well, it uh, is going to happen because uh, you are going to take the place of Uncle Morty. No, I, I, I don't think that... Um, well, who else is going to dance with her? Well, maybe so, her husband? No, the first dance is traditional. The father of the bride, Yeah. which is you... We mean since Uncle Morty is dead. Yeah. This is where you come in, Ben. You're going to have to cover for me and tell them that I pulled a hamstring, okay? Why? You just have to dance with her. See, see the thing has been... I, I can't dance and I can't dance in front of people, Ben. I just can't do it. It's like, uh, you know, you know how some people can't speak publicly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said publicly. Oh, right. Well, I I can't dance in front of people, Ben. I can dance at home. I can dance in front of me. You've seen me dance. But, yeah. Do you know how to waltz? No, I don't know how to waltz. I don't know how to do any dance. The only thing, the only thing I can do even slightly is the cha cha. I don't think that would be appropriate. Not if she's waltzing. Hey, Laura, any messages for me? Any Anything I need nope. to know about? Any wedding cancellations? No. Nope. Any reprieves on the governor? No. Nope. Nothing, huh? Nothing. Okay. Hey, what do, what do I hear? Sounds Brazilian or... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just music. I love it. It's, it's got that crazy Latin feel. Dr. Katz, isn't it time for you to go to work? Yeah, I'm just heading in there. Okay, bye. Where'd you get that? Uh, where'd you get that music? Oh, I I just got it at a at a yard sale. You're kidding me. No. Nope. Wow. You don't have any waltz music, do you? N no. Okay. I think the music is distracting me, Laura. Mm, no, it's not. You checked? I checked. Okay, I'll give it another try, but. Okay, I... and don't come out until you cured somebody. Well, you may never see me again. <laughs> Nobody gets cured in mental health. Should I tell them that when they come in? No, I'll, I'll tell them. So it's your, it's your, mo it's your mother's style that embarrasses you? I, I'm nothing like her. I've never looked like her. I've always been thin. Mm -hmm. My mother's like big Eastern European peasanty looking, you know? Like she looks like if she lifted up her skirt, there'd be a huge brisket underneath there. Right. You know, she's upset that I'm in therapy. You know, she's always saying to me, talk a little less about me, try to be a little more like me. You wouldn't be there in the first place. You know, and I, I don't think that that's true. Well, that's not, that's not fair of her to say that. Every time I'm going out with a guy, I bring him home, and then he breaks up with me. Mm. You know, because the family, they're crazy. First of all, you know how they're always loud, screaming, yelling. I bring a new person in. They all of a sudden turn British. They're like, ah! He walks in, oh, hello, how are you? My last boyfriend, I, I bring him home to meet my family. Yeah. My mother starts grilling him. She starts wearing him down. She says, so, what do you do for a living? And he said, I'm a musician. And? And I have a band. And? And I play guitar. And? And this went on for like 15 minutes. Till finally I found out he once murdered a man. So maybe she's doing me a favor. I, I don't know. I don't know. I always feel like men are simple and women are complex. Mm. We love you guys, but we love you in a patronizing way. Like kind of how you love the village idiot. You know what I mean? I don't love the village idiot. I mean, I respect him. I, I keep on trying to figure out where to meet men, and I don't know where to meet men. And, and mm -hmm. my cousin Judy keeps on trying to get me to go to one of these Jewish singles organizations, and I, I, I can't. I can't do anything that my cousin Judy does, because my cousin Judy, she's one of these types. She's a Zionist, and she's very active and involved, and she's always doing the Israeli folk dancing and right. taking seminars, and she's obsessed with her Judaism, you know? It's sickening. And she'll always call me up at these seminars like, Hi, Susie. Her voice is like a cross between Kermit and Julia Child. Yeah. Hi, Susie. It's Judy. Um, we're doing the seminar. 
Sponsored by the Jewish Women's Resource Center and the Jewish Historical Archives on Zionism in the 20th century and Jews who spent their senior at the Kibbutz and do, 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 She's obsessed, you know. And then she'll come running into the house trying to get us all to sing these Israeli folk songs. Zoom, golly, 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 zoom, golly, golly. Hey, Laura, do you remember saying to me, this is a while ago, that if I ever needed you, that you would be there? No. Do you ever remember saying to me that maybe if I needed you, that you might be there? No. Well, the time has come. I need you. Oh, no. I am invited to my niece's wedding. You need me to get a gift? No, Ben pointed out that she's going to expect me to dance with her. Yeah. And... So what's the problem? I don't dance. I can't dance. I won't dance in public, especially the waltz, because I don't know how to waltz. That's the easiest dance that there is. It's easy if you know how to do it, but I don't know how to do it. You just All you have to do is just step and count. I can step and I can count, but I can't step and count. Would you, in your kindness, give me one quick lesson in waltzing? Absolutely not. Would you teach me how to do the foxtrot? No. Would you teach me how to do everything but the waltz, and then I'll figure out by the process of elimination how to waltz? <sighs> Would you teach me how to play gin? Ron, Dr. Katz asked me to talk to you about payment. Uh, we had some trouble with your last check. It bounced. No, they're fine. The checks are fine. No, it did. It bounced. Oh, no, 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 no. Here, uh, here, listen to this. Hello, this is the president of a bank, and I will verify that Ron's checks are good. Ron, that's a recording. They're fine for him to use. Of you. He has plenty of money. Hey, Ben, what are you doing, man? Hey, uh, let me ask you a question. What's that? Offhand, how many videos do you think I've rented overall? I don't want to reach for the computer, but really, I could have... look that up and give you the exact number. <laughs> really? That's been so many videos, I assume I'm probably one of the preferred customers now, huh? I told you, we don't laminate the cards here, so it's not going to happen. How come you don't have, like, a gold member or something that I could... This is not like a blockbuster. This is Vic's video palace. I've never seen Vic. Who is he? You don't need to see Vic. Well, I would just like to see the namesake of the of the video palace, the guy who... When you get to Vic's level, you don't have to show up. Have you seen Vic? I haven't even seen Vic. You've never met Vic? I am not allowed to meet Vic until I'm employed here three years. Wow. That's the only reason I'm staying. Yeah. I actually got accepted to four different graduate schools. But you just want to meet Vic. I want to meet Vic. I don't blame you. Ron? Um, he, he's not here, and uh, he sent me over. Well, let me, let me address this question to the guy with the fake mustache, then. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? He, I'm feeling fine. You know what? Why don't I put on something fake, and we can just do it that way? Sure. Now, on, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much help do you think I, uh, I need? And how long before I won't need any help? I would say 8 and 6, respectively. You're right. You look nervous. What, what do you mean? I don't know. You look like you're fidgety. The thing is, Todd, I, I normally when I would just come by here and I would look around, right? And then I would buy some of the movie food mm -hmm. that you have so prominently displayed all the time, which I love. And maybe I would rent a couple just you know action videos for myself. Right. Today is not that day. Today is a different day. All right. Today I'm here more for someone. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, did you want to rent a porno movie? No. I mean, yes. Listen, I gotta teach a guy how to waltz. <laughs> yeah? No, 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 I really gotta teach a guy how to waltz. Wow. And it's my dad. Mm-hmm. Have you been to a wedding? No. Oh, you should go to one. Really? They're great. Everything's free. You serious? Yeah. The food, the drinks. Do you want to walk over to the dance instruction section? You have a dance instruction section? Yeah, we keep it in a separate room. It's right behind that curtain, that soundproof curtain. Why do you hide the dance instruction tapes? You'll know in a couple of minutes. I've, I've read about this thing where I can use a puppet and maybe I can talk through the puppet. Yes, I know something about that. So I thought I'd use a puppet anyway, so here, I'll try that, yeah. I really have nothing to say, you know. I, I really have a hard time uh, opening up. Well, wait a second. Well, why don't you speak through a puppet, too, and then maybe that would help you out? Sure, that might help. 
Here, put this on. Hello, I have very much to tell you. Now, who is that puppet talking to? Is He's that... talking to you, I guess, because you're Dr. Cat, so he would... And is this a conflict of interest, Ron? Oh. Are there things that the rabbit wouldn't be comfortable talking about in front of you? Ah, uh, yeah. What should I call you? Um, my, uh, Ron? My Ron? name is Ron. And so is my name. <sighs> okay, Ron. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to uh, any any Ron. Oh, all right, I should talk to the public, because I guess. Because last, last time we were here, we were trying to talk about, and it made you uncomfortable, your relationship with your brother. So I'm well, just I, wondering if any of the... Any I don't of have a brother. And you? Mm, I do. And how do you feel about that brother? Um, he's much bigger than me. Mm-hmm. He has legs. Do you love him? Y yes, I do. You can't assume that the puppet is going to get in touch with your brother, Ron. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to your brother. It's not fair to the puppet. This is the one, man. This is the best this one? Is, I've heard nothing but good things about this one. I don't trust the couple on the cover. You know what? I'll even guarantee this one. That is your personal guarantee. Personal. Well, this is the beginner tape, which you might want to start with. Unless you think he... Yeah. Well, for him, I think it would be an introductory thing. For me, I would go right to advanced. There's advanced, then there's pro. Mm. But this totally, you have my guarantee, as long as you watch the Charles Brownson tapes afterwards. I have felt manipulated most of my life. Mm -hmm. Everyone around me is very controlling. Right. Wait a minute, that's not true. Shut up. Hello, can I speak for once? All right, go ahead, jeez. Um, I really don't have much to say. See, Ron, I think... By the way, it's not my fault that the tiny one doesn't say much, because that's not my fault. It's my, it's the rabbit. Ron, the, the rabbit has been nothing but cooperative and, and resilient, and I think to try to pin this one on the bunny is wrong. Can you draw a diagram or something? It's based on three, four times. Right. There's three beats per measure and then four measures in, in the phrase. So there's four steps until you come around and get back to where you started and then you start over again. It's so easy. You just one, two, three, step, yeah, step. It's like you're talking another step. language to me. I, okay, I, I just can't listen really to me. I can't really understand just what you're saying. Just listen to me. I see your lips moving. I hear sound. Is there okay, a Okay, look. Is here, I'm going to put some tape on the floor. Watch me. Yeah. See the tape? Right. And just step one, two, three, f well, foot, feet apart, feet together, feet apart, feet together. Follow the tape, go like around and around and me. count. I'm looking just and keep I know counting. It's there for You're not reason, counting. So, I mean, you know, I was dating this guy and he broke up with me. Do you feel bad? Sure, sure I do. Don't, because he's dead now. But, no, he's not. But his voice is a couple of octaves higher than it used to be. Right. Did you ever run into an ex-boyfriend or, or girlfriend and you think to yourself, was I in a deranged, psychopathic dementia? Was I in a complete psychotic state when I was having sex with this man every night twice on Fridays? Uh... <clears throat> or then, you know, I get this really scary moment where I ran into an ex-boyfriend and I look at him and I think, ugh, I talked baby talk to this man. It's so mortifying. Yeah. The last guy I was going out with, you know, remember him, this Italian guy from the Bronx? Mm -hmm. And I, I used to get turned on by, like, the weirdest things. Like, the way he talked, I would get turned on by. Like, he would call me up, he'd say stuff like, So, I'll be over your house, a tree. And this would turn me on. Right. And then I would race home to listen to my answering machine mm -hmm. to see if I had messages from him so that I could analyze the nuance of how he felt about me. And I'd listen to the messages over and over, 15, 25, 30 times. And i get messages from him like this. Hello, so this is Joey. I hate this freaking answer machine. I'll call you later, all right? Is Joey. I hate this freaking answer machine. I'll call you later, all right? Is Joey. Wait, Susie, do I have to hear it 30 times? What do you think he really meant by that? Oh, all the couples in my family hate each other, like my Aunt Sylvia and my Uncle Ben. Right. They've been married like 50, 60 years. Mm hmm And... They think it's normal to speak to each other in this despicable way. They hate each other and they don't even know it. Like, they'll be having a conversation. Aunt Sylvia will be on the phone with one of her girlfriends. You know, Gloria, it's very sad to find out that your son wants such a mutilating operation. It's in my joy, not yours. What the hell's the matter with you, you moron? You can't put a lousy sock. These are my role models. Hello, Laura. Why are you walking like that? I'm just gliding. Walking on air. Mm. Life is a dance, Laura. Yeah? We get one go around, and then, uh... Why do you have your pants pulled up so high? I hike them up. Why? Better movement. 
All right. I learned that in the waltz video. They don't say hike your pants up, but all the guys yeah. had their pants hiked up. <sighs> no, but the the guy said, the guy with the thin mustache. Don't ever listen to a guy with a thin mustache. But look at him on the box cover, smiling like he's happy. Wow. You can tell inside he's he hurts. Mm. He feels pain, too. I think it's because his pants are hiked up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dad. Always a pleasure. I got good news for you. Really? Well, I got something for you that I think is going to help you get through uh, through the wedding and through the dance. Oh, I can prescribe that stuff. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? I rented a, a waltz tape today at the video store. Oh, Ben, that is so sweet. You didn't have to do that for me. Well, I watched the tape, and uh, I'll tell you something. The waltz is it's not an easy dance, but based on what I saw in the video, mm -hmm. it's um, easily learned. You just have to commit. Yeah. I've played both parts, right. the boy and the girl, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you, I don't like to lead, yeah. but um, you got to watch this tape. Ben, I, I, that really, is, you've gone above and beyond the call of duty. I set up the apartment, mm -hmm. I cleared out the furniture from the living room, right. so we got room to move, mm -hmm. bought new speakers for the stereo. So we mm -hmm. can kick the waltz loud. This is tricky. A tricky one for me, Ben, is between the time I saw you this morning mm -hmm. and this afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, Laura taught me how to waltz. What? Laura agreed to give me one short lesson in the waltz, and that's all it took. Really? And I know I now know how to waltz, so I really appreciate the effort you made. So Laura taught you how to waltz? It never occurred to me that she would agree to teach me how to waltz, but, but we struck a deal, and, and now I, I know how to waltz. Hmm. Well, I'm happy for both of you. I'm glad that uh, that worked out for you. Thanks, Ben. It's nice to uh, strip someone of their dreams. Hey, look, I'm sorry, Ben, that the, I, if the, I'm sorry that you made this trip for nothing. Yeah. But I will see you at home, and we can uh, have a nice evening together. That's true. I hope. Uh, I hope when uh, when it comes down to it mm -hmm. at the wedding, when uh, all your waltz lessons with Laura has to come to bear right there in one moment with all the pressure, I hope you fail. Thank you. Yeah. I hope you embarrass yourself and Rachel and everyone at the wedding. But me, I know how to waltz. Yeah. Because I watched a videotape. I didn't take some half-assed lesson with my secretary. Does this mean that we won't be watching uh, Death Wish 1 through 5? No, we're still doing that. You know, I think I think it's my mistake when I book that many people back to back. I feel like I'm cheating my patients and I'm cheating myself. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, that's great, Dad. But nothing that a little uh, three hours of uh, Death Wish two, three, and four wouldn't cure. Yeah, I'm not feel much like watching them tonight. Thanks. I think I'm just gonna go to my uh, room and maybe watch the waltz video again. Ben, there's some, clearly something going on here. You, are you still mad about the no, waltz? No, you can something? watch the uh, videos, uh, the Bronson. You you make it seem, I feel like I'm slinking around, you know, like I cheated on you. Well, I guess in a way you did. I mean, I went and made an effort to teach you how to dance. I thought it was going to be part of the process, and then I was just cut out, summarily cut out. Well, Laura made me an offer that I couldn't refuse, and... and, and what do you mean an me, offer? I asked her if she would teach me how to waltz. She said no, and then we started negotiating, and she came up with what I thought was a very fair deal. You mean you paid her to teach you? Of course I paid her to teach me. You think she's going to dance with me for nothing? Has she made money out of this deal? She made a couple of bucks, yeah. How much? Well, when you factor out how much time it took her, $200. Wow. She is, uh, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she wants and she knows how to get it. She can milk everything for everything. Plus, I wasn't allowed to touch her. Oh, uh, Dad, I would have touched. You know what? This is going to sound crazy, but you have the tapes. I do. We both now know how to waltz. Why don't we just put on some music and, and really just, uh... Cut loose. I think it would be a nice way for us to make up after, after this little tiff. You mean so every time we get into a fight now, we're going to waltz? Not every time. But every time we get in a fight about waltzing, we should waltz. <laughs> Dad, watch the hands. All right? You're riding a little low there. Ouch. I'm sorry. Ouch, two, three is what I mean. Well, you're not letting me lead. I mean, Laura didn't teach you that well, did she? But Laura also didn't have two days' growth. I'm dipping you right now. Ow! Yeah, yeah. Can I practice leading just for a minute, Ben? Because I, I, that's what I'm going to need to do with Rachel. Um, please. Let's talk about mm -hmm. putting back together the pieces of, of your life. Because when you came in here six months ago, you said you wanted to try to rebuild your life. All right, well, let's do it. I'm ready. Um, Actually, I've been trying to build my confidence a little lately. That's a good start. Mm -hmm. And how, how have you been doing that? Well, I've gone around and collected testimonies of various people who uh, who think I'm funny. 
Mm -hmm. Let me play one of them for you. And is it just funny? Is that where you where you get your strength from? People who think you're funny. What about people who think you're kind or or loving or caring? Oh, I don't care about that. Just funny. Yeah. Okay, let me hear what you got. Hi, this is uh, Oprah Winfrey. I want to say that I think Ron is a very funny, funny individual, and uh, I would have him on my show anytime. And I think he does a great job. Keep it up, Ron. It's uh, Oprah Winfrey. Yeah, that's... And uh, you might know this person. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Bob Hope. Uh, Ron, keep it up. Very funny. This is Bob Hope. Yeah. He's the man. Sounds a lot like you, Ron. Oh, no, no. Well, here you might... might hey, listen to this person. Yeah. Ron, this is uh, President Clinton. Uh, President Bill Clinton. Uh, you know what the music means, Ron. I'll turn this up. Making a country like